Good morning. I'm going to show another video of my chickens and how I clean my coop. As you can see, they're about four and a half months old. I modified it a little bit with some perches, step up perches. Yeah, I'm really big. They're not laying any eggs yet, but uh, hopefully in the next month or so. I put some extra steps. Make it easy for them to climb up and down. One of my chickens was limping the other day. So I just want to make sure that they don't get hurt while they're in the uh, run. This is the uh, roosting bars right there. Again, my shelf makes it a lot easy. That's all their feathers. It's just blown into the corner because of my fan up here. Turns on. Um, I will change this wood chips into sand, um, just like I have on the shelf here. Uh, only because if one of these heat lamps breaks and an amber comes down and it'll light this up on fire. So if it's sand, it won't burn. I also did put a smoke detector up there, Home Depot four dollars. I do have my thermostat outlet for the heat. Turns on at 35 degrees, shuts off at uh, 45 degrees. Pull this towards me, and um, that's it. I use my pooper scooper. With my little bucket, some holes on the bottom so the sand falls through. And every morning, and that's it. It's that easy. I did make a um, a tool for myself. Handle when it's done. I square everything off. I do. I use the brush, just in case there's some poo on the shelves and I can't reach. Great tool. Love it. Turn it upside down. Like I said before, you can use the brush. Um, and that's it. I hang everything up. Make it easy and accessible, even if you gotta buy extra. That was my cat's <laughs> pooper scooper. But I, uh, I use it for the chicken coop also, and I bought my cats a new one. As far as the run, um, at the end of the day, I rake it, and then I hose it down every few days. Um, I do hang everything that I need inside the run, so I'm not going in and out, wasting time. Um, I do have... Uh, our special slippers that we use to go inside the run so we don't contaminate the rest of the yard, the concrete and stuff like that. So, nests and boxes are still sealed. Once we see that they drop an egg, I'll remove that plywood and that uh, chicken wire. And uh, I'll place my fake eggs on top of the nesting uh, material I'm going to put in there. And uh, hopefully they'll. Uh, They'll lay eggs in there. They love the roosts. They do not roost out here at night. Um, they all go inside uh, using the chicken guard. Uh, it does. Uh, I, I put it in the um, in the sensor mode, so it does uh, close about a half hour after they they go in, uh, and it opens up uh, different times in the morning depending on the uh, light. So, look, they love it. Great modification. I'm glad. No roosters. That's my only rooster up there. 
uh, he watches them. So, hope you enjoyed this video. And um, you can email me at reversesmoker at gmail.com if you have any questions.